Okay, so this next question uh, relates to nitrobenzene being formed from the reaction of benzene and concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid, okay? So this is another electrophilic substitution reaction and you are required to outline the mechanism for it, okay? But as well as that, you also need to include a balanced equation showing how the electrophile is formed. So for a nitration reaction, the electrophile is the NO2 plus group. Okay, so how do we form this NO2 plus? Well, what you need to do is you need to consider the two uh, other reactants, the nitric acid and the concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay, so HNO3 plus H2SO4. Now, the Sulfuric acid is a stronger acid than the nitric acid. So what's going to happen here is it's going to donate one of its protons to the nitric acid. Okay, so this is the long way of doing it. So you form SO4 minus plus H2NO3 plus. Okay, and then from there you get a breakdown of this H2NO3 plus complex and you uh, end up with HO4 minus plus NO2 plus plus H2O. And look at that, you've formed your electrophile, your NO2 plus. You can also represent this uh, as HNO3 plus 2H2SO4 goes to uh, H3O plus plus 2HSO4 minus plus NO2 plus. So either one of these is correct, they're just different ways of representing the same kind of thing. So if you get those uh, one of those equations, you get one mark. Okay. So now I haven't left myself with much room to draw the mechanism, but we'll try. We'll try our best. Okay. So from here you have benzene and you have it's a really badly drawn benzene ring, but we'll go with it. Um, we also have NO2 plus. So the NO2 plus is electron deficient and positively charged and the benzene ring uh, it may be neutral but it's got a region of high electron density in its delocalized ring. So the delocalized electron ring, the electrons here, a pair of electrons here will attack the uh, nitro group, the uh, NO2 plus ion and you'll form an intermediate. So this intermediate has this structure again. Remember we draw this above the halfway line to, to these two carbon atoms here and here. This is now positive because the electron, the, the delocalized ring has been broken. And you've now not only got hydrogen up here, you've also got that NO2 that you've just added. Now what happens here is you're going to get the electron pair and the hydrogen carbon bond, uh, whoops, and get the electron pair in this bond now rejoining uh, the uh, delocalized ring and you're losing this proton off of the uh, molecule. So you are now going from there to form nitrobenzene NO2 and you've also got the H plus ion as well. Just for completion we put that in. So marks. You get one mark for this bit here, the generation of the catalyst. You get one mark for this curly arrow here. You get one mark for this curly arrow here. One mark for the correct intermediate structure. And one mark for the correct Okay, so there's your five marks there. Okay, so the next part of this question is fairly straightforward. 135 trimethyl benzene is used as the starting material instead of benzene in the synthesis of some azodyes. How many different structural isomers can be formed from the mononitration? So that means just one nitration of 135 trimethyl benzene. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. The answer is one structural isomer. And that's because all three of these carbon atoms where the nitration could take place are equivalent to one another. And it's as simple as that. That's all you need to say.
Okay, well, you do just need to say one structural isomer or one for the mark. Okay, and there you have it. That's question three.